ENCODE Glyphworks is a powerful tool for visualizing and analyzing engineering test data, with capabilities from basic data display and manipulation to advanced analysis like vibration, frequency, and fatigue. The purpose of this video is to get you started with the basics so you can begin creating your own processes. Here is the ENCODE application, with menus on the far left, available data in the white area, the workspace in the middle, and glyph palettes to the right each of which contains a number of glyphs. The available data can be dragged out onto the workspace. Let's take a look at some time series data. We can display it graphically, maximize the glyph, and manipulate its appearance with tools across the top. These tools can be used to do many things, including zoom in, or out, display different numbers of channels, overlay channels, and separate channels. If we minimize this glyph, we'll be able to continue building a process. This process will calculate the frequency content of the time series data. Therefore, we'll need to drag a frequency spectrum glyph onto the workspace. We can access the properties of any glyph by double-clicking on its banner. This opens a property editor which allows us to configure the glyph. In this example, the frequency spectrum glyph has properties that allow you to control things like the output type, window type, and buffer size. The next glyph in this process will be an XY display glyph, which will show frequency content of all the channels in the time series data. At this point, we are ready to click the Run button and generate some results. Once complete, we can maximize the results and manipulate its appearance with the tools across the top. For example, we can change the y-axis to a log scale. If we minimize the results, we can continue to add glyphs to this process. For example, we can drag a rainflow cycle counting glyph to the workspace. This glyph will count the cycles in the time series data. Next, we can attach a histogram display which will show the rainflow results. Once assembled, the process needs to be rerun to generate the new results. The histogram display shows three-dimensional data. In this case, the data is counts of range mean cycles. You'll notice there are still tools across the top of the histogram display. These can be used to do things like indexing through channels. What has just been demonstrated is the assembly of a process that can be used as a standardized tool. If the process was saved, the only thing that would be saved are the glyphs, the properties, and the pipes. This allows the user to open the process at a later time and use it on new data. I'll demonstrate by first saving the process. I'll then clear the workspace and finally reopen the process. You can see the glyphs are empty. However, I can drag new data in from my available data window and rerun the process. There are many other glyphs in ENCODE that can perform calculations. These include advanced glyphs for frequency analysis. There are also glyphs for fatigue calculations on strain gauge data, which includes stress life and strain life. Accelerated testing glyphs for generating shaker table profiles, and optimized testing glyphs for proving ground optimization. This concludes our quick video introduction to Glyphworks. For further assistance, you can find help in a number of places within ENCODE. Help is available on individual properties for every glyph. PDF documents are also included with every install that cover topics such as theory guides, glyph references, and worked examples. You can also visit our website at hbm.com slash encode.